So how do you get one of these on one of these? This is a coax cable. Specifically, it's an RG6. And what's the difference between an RG6 and something else? Well, the something else is probably an RG59, and I made a video on the differences between the two. And if you want to watch that, go ahead and click the link for that. And that'll explain what choice is the best for whatever you're doing. Now, this is a coax cable. You can see it looks like an axle. That's different from a regular cable. Like this is just a sprinkler line wire. It's just a bunch of wires shoved in a sheath. Well, the coax cable, to put one of these on, they make special tools for it. And uh, what we want to do is make this look like this. This is cut a half inch and then a quarter inch. So quarter, quarter. And it exposes the wires the way we need them. So that's about a half inch there. Now I'm not going to use special tools because I assume most people watching this aren't going to go out and buy professional tools that they're hardly ever going to use. You might. So there you go. If you do it careful, you're not going to destroy anything. That comes off easy enough. Okay. Then I'm just going to push it in again. I'm cutting through the mesh and the white foam. Take off this uh, insulator here. You know, you don't want to just go for it. You want to be a little bit careful. And let's clean that up a bit. Okay, so there we have our wire now. The copper should stick out about a quarter of an inch. And we're going to clean this up, push these back. Or you can cut them off. It doesn't. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, so you want to start with a clean cut in the beginning and then be fairly accurate when you're doing this. Now, here's the what they call compression fitting, a pressure con connection. And they make different kinds. This one you can see is a, is a waterproof kind. You can see the gasket there and it's a bit uh, better metal for outdoors there. And here's another kind from our friends at Foxconn. And they make, also this is another outdoor one. You can see it has rubber to protect protect the uh, fitting. So how you do this is there's a, a hole in there that we have to get around here. So we're going to wiggle it in. And there's going to be, there's a, a metal tube in here. You can kind of see it. That's going to go in between this foil and this um, uh, rubber this uh, sleeve this outer sleeve here and they make tools that you can shove on there and flare it out, but You can do it without it So There we go shoved it in and now keep going now you want to shove it Until the um, It's coming. This might be easier here. It's going to ram it down. Harder to do things on camera when you're trying not to block it. Okay, now you can see here where the white foam is right up to the inside of that, uh, of the well there. And that's where you want to, you can see about how much this sticks out. You can even cut that down a little bit. That's a little long. 
And that's how you do that. Now the other part of this is you need one of these, a crimping tool. And you're saying to yourself, hey, you said we don't need any special tools. Well, I'm gonna show you both because there is another option. You can buy these and what you do with this, you pick these up at uh, even Walmart, I think. You put these on and there's a threaded connection in there. And uh, so you, you get your cable, you can do all this at home. You don't need anything special. And you just twist that on and then you have it easy, easy. But these are better. So what you do is you put it, this little part, this little hole in there. And put the copper part in there and put this there. This is a little gauge selector there. And what happens when I pull this uh, lever here, you're going to watch this blue fitting slip right inside. Okay. And that's it. That's how you uh, get one of these great connectors on the ends of your coax. Have an awesome day.